It's day two of the 2016 Best in the Desert Blue Water Desert Challenge presented by Polaris Razor. Yesterday's race was fast, dusty, and crazy. The race ended in a virtual tie between Corey Sappington and Justin Lambert. The race, however, is a combination of two days of racing. People know this race as being a drag race. This is flat out from the start to finish. You gotta be on your game and be willing to pin it to win it. Yesterday's race was fast, but today it's gonna be an entirely different course. Having trophy trucks race after UTVs yesterday, the ruts, the corners, the turns, everything's going to be different and much more rugged. Racers are preparing to stage right here at the start line. We're gonna chase them all day long as they battle to win the Blue Water Desert Challenge presented by Polaris Razor. Finished day two of the Blue Water Desert Challenge. Uh, first on top again in class. Uh, second overall, it looks like. Uh, this should give us a win for the weekend in the 1900 class. It makes it six in, a, six in a row this season in Best of the Desert. I think we probably got a second overall, so that's great. Only one turbo car in front of us. We couldn't be happier. We met our goal. It's a win. The course was a whole different course as we uh, imagined it was gonna. After yesterday, we didn't really have to do much to the car. Uh, throw some, a new belt on it and, and went out there and ran it today. Uh, the biggest thing was I've, I'm you know, in a pretty big battle for, for first in the points championship, so today I just need to keep the car together. The two guys that were, that were close to me at points had rough days yesterday, so I knew if I could get a podium spot today, it was really going to help that uh, points championship. 